I'm Monty Morin at the Los Angeles Times, and I'm talking with Amina Khan, a science writer who covers NASA and JPL, and we're talking about uh, rover Curiosity's first year on Mars. Amina, have there been any problems with the rover in this uh, in this year? No, it's actually been a, a fairly smooth year, uh, all things considered. There were a, a couple of little scares when the when the rover landed, and a few other technical snafus, but. The only real break that they've taken over this year has been for something called solar conjunction, when the sun came between the Earth and Mars, and uh, thus it was very difficult for us to talk with them. So that was a little extended uh, spring break for Curiosity, but besides that, it's been uh, pretty smooth sailing. Very good. Well, what's been its biggest discovery so far? Well, Curiosity actually was set out to discover habitable environments. These are places that microbial life could have theoretically existed on Mars in the past if life ever did exist on Mars. And uh, right, you know, within this first year, they've actually discovered one in Yellowknife Bay, not too far away from the landing site. And it has a lot of the markers that we think would be really useful for microbial life to exist. That includes uh, signs that water once flowed there, um, organic molecules, or sorry, not organic molecules, but, but building blocks of life, such as uh, phosphorus, uh, nitrogen, oxygen. And also, uh, and this is key, a uh, relatively balanced uh, pH, low acidity environment, which means it would be pretty friendly to life. This is water, as uh, the mission's lead scientist, John Grotzinger, said, water that you could, as a human, potentially drink and probably not have too many ill effects. So uh, having that in the bag has been a real boon for the, the mission scientists, and it sort of takes a little bit of the pressure off, given that it was initially a two-year mission. Mm -hmm. Now, it's been a year. Um, it's been creeping around up there for a while. How much ground has it actually covered? It's covered about uh, one. It covered about 1.08 miles in that first year, although it's driven a little bit uh, farther since then. And uh, it's sort of been winding its way around to an area called Yellowknife Bay, and it actually hasn't gotten anywhere close to its final destination, which is uh, Mount Sharp, which is this three-mile-high mountain in the middle of Gale Crater. And so its its goal is to actually kind of climb that mountain and figure out what its different layers are, are telling the scientists about Mars's geologic history. But for the moment, it's really only gone about a mile hanging around looking at this really interesting uh, site. Uh, and uh, it was a bet because obviously it took them a little bit off of their, their course, but in the end, it seems like it paid off. All right, well, it still has a, a ways to go. How long before it actually kind of runs out of gas, so to speak? Well, it's actually nuclear powered, so it could go on for a very long time. Um, its predecessors, the 2004 rover, uh, Spirit and Opportunity, actually, their, their mission was only for 90 days. That was their warranty. And Opportunity, to this day, is still going on the, on the planet. It was solar powered, but, uh, b you know, Curiosity is a much more uh, robust vehicle. And so, I mean, who knows how long it could last. All right. Well, thank you very much. For more on this, please check out latimes.com.